Hi, my name is Liam Byrne and I'm a senior at UMass Amherst studying communication. Each and every week I do a sports show that documents the best in UMass sports. I love it because it brings out my creativity, my personality, and my love for sports. <laughs> Four goals, two assists, ten shots, and three ground balls. UMass is definitely going to have to have his number at midfield that game. After the roller coaster ride we call UMass basketball, Ryan Bamford finally picked the leader of this program. University of Tennessee at Chattanooga head coach Matt McCall. Ed, Matt's and the girls, they definitely have to work on cashing in missed goal opportunities. Uh, also, keeping up that hard defense that we were talking about, it's definitely a key thing for this Minute Women uh, team to work on. Here are the 2016 CAA preseason polls. As you can see, UMass is ranked number five, as I mentioned, uh, with a record last year of five and ten and a conference record of two and three. And I can see Towson number 16 at the top of that list. Uh, they were the CAA champions last year as they beat UMass in a heartbreaker 9-8. to eight. Hopefully tomorrow him and the Minutemen can take some momentum into Providence, Rhode Island as they face the Friars once again for the last game of the season tomorrow at 7 p.m. In the second period alone, UMass outshot Army 13-1. to one. So you had the pressure going at the net from UMass uh, pressing on Army. This one coming up is one for SportsCenter's top 10 plays. Junior Salma Anastasio gets the cross pass from sophomore Paige Kozlowski, keeping the ball in the air and letting gravity do its work as Anastasio strikes in her first goal of the season, capping off the Minute Women's 3-0 victory on Senior Day. This has been a problem for UMass all season. Fouls. Like we said, they're very aggressive on defense, but a little too aggressive at times. 17 fouls in this one uh, over Richmond's 14. Now here's the, the second goal from Army. So once again, a little more space out there obviously, but a deflection leads to another top left shelf for Army there. So Tommy, as you can see, the penalties are going to be a factor for this Minutemen team going into tonight's game uh, against Quinnipiac and also uh, against UNH and Boston College this weekend as they open up. Hockey East. So, William, thank you very a tough much. Tough month of March for the UMass basketball program as the 2016 2017 season wasn't all that it was hyped up to be. Former head coach Derek Kellogg brought in a top 25 recruiting class that just couldn't get the job done in the A 10 conference. Just a few hours after their second round loss in the conference tournament, UMass athletic director Ryan Banford fired Derek Kellogg after nine seasons here at UMass. After Kellogg was fired, a lawsuit came to public attention regarding former player and assistant coach Lou Rowe. Three other current and former staff members are involved in this case, including Kellogg. The plaintiff, Ayanna Hickman, claims that the staff members deprived her of her civil rights and falsely imprisoned her. Hickman was in a romantic relationship with Rowe, and she is seeking $75,000 in damages. Ryan Bamford stated that Kellogg's firing had no connection with the lawsuit, even though Kellogg allegedly played a role in covering up the situation. Confidence, but I told our men, young men, that we're going to find a great leader. And that, um, you know, honestly, I, I told them this was on me. You know, as a leader of this organization, this is on me. To continue the off-season woes for UMass basketball, on March 21st, just two weeks after the firing of Derek Kellogg, Bamford hired Winthrop University head coach Pat Kelsey. Unfortunately, Kelsey backed out of his position at UMass just minutes before he was going to be introduced at a press conference here on campus. He says that the reason behind backing out was for personal reasons and that he will go back to Winthrop and serve as their head coach for his sixth season. After the roller coaster ride we call UMass basketball, Ryan Bamford finally picked the leader of this program. University of Tennessee at Chattanooga head coach Matt McCall. McCall was on campus on Tuesday to finalize a five-year deal making him the next UMass basketball head coach. McCall, only 35 years old, led the Mocs to a 48-18 record in his two seasons. Before being at Chattanooga, he was at the University of Florida as an assistant under the direction of Billy Donovan. Reporting for UMass Sports Weekly, I'm Liam Byrne, UVC TV 19.